Hello and welcome back everyone to a new episode of Lawmaster Leveling here with me Sneaky Bart. We are in Feralas on our Goblin Rogue Tafrona and we're going to just complete these couple of quests here that we have uh, in this episode or the subsequent ones at least. I do hope all of you have had a pleasant holiday season and a new year since it is currently January the 3rd and I'm once again back home recording and been doing that for like 11 days or something like that so a bit rusty but we will get there let's look on the map where we want to go could go down here do the quest for that goblin chap that we saw along this road or move into the yeti caves here or do some more with the ogres um, I think because these ones are quite well, I think you enter here to get to the Yeti Caves, but these two are quite clustered. These two are quite clustered. We will do a bit more with the ogres. I do, after all, like the ogres here in Dire Mall. Um, Feralas, well, they're mostly concentrated in Dire Mall, but in Feralas in general. So why not start with that? Uh, other news for this Let's Play series in particular. Uh, more details will be released with the January update for the channel is that I Think we will actually be able to go through most of the major parts of the lore in WoW in the subsequent 24 almost 23 levels that we have left and then I'll just see what I'll do with um, The WoW part of the channel after all most people seem to be favoring uh, the strategy Games, so I might move more in that direction but we will see more details as I said in the January update that should be up soon ish sorry for the delay on that one I had planned to have it up in December but then I managed to get ill and holidays and whatever so I ended up having to record it like around now when I got back so let's see, we're not going to do the pet battle daily, even though I do love pet battles, but let's keep our focus on the actual quests. Ah, there we go, there's an enforcer that we can kill. We promptly used our cooldown for whatever reason. As you can see, I'm quite rusty on my rotation here as well. We also need to capture the Gordog Mage here, so let's do that. Is there anything special that we need to do? We need to trap the soul of him there. I can't do that yet, alright? We apparently need to... Oh dear. We can do... There we go. Your soul was captured. No, he yells. But hey, managed to do it. Quest complete, apparently. So let's go and find ourselves the other enforcers and Gordok Ogre Mages. Sadly, I mean, we did capture his soul, but sadly it doesn't uh, count as slaying him. I don't know why. Normally if you yank the soul out of someone, I just assume they're dead. Maybe in wild they're just grey dead. And are in sort of vegetative state or whatever, so they don't really count as dead dead. Alright, come on. Let's kill this enforcer. There's another mage over here. It's too far away. And I'm still on my druid, trying to push the paragraph key in order to go into stealth. That is one of the... I don't know, I've never figured out if you can actually keep mind this key. I'm sure you can if you use add-ons, but hey, I don't really use that many add-ons, as you know. Yeah, shame on me, I know. But somehow I like the clunkiness and sort of weird feeling of or nostalgia and not necessarily purity, but what have you, of the the regular interface. Also, if you do watch this video, do put in the comments in the chat if the sound is okay because I had to move my microphone to a different location on the uh, my very plotted uh, desk because I have now finally two monitors and where it was before it would have completely stood in the way of the other monitors. I had to move it to the opposite side where Sometimes stuff keeps falling down from the uh, desk, so let's hope that doesn't happen. That would be a shame if the microphone fell down. I'll just have to be less uh, enthusiastic in my mouse movements and make sure I don't 
uh, accidentally just chuck it off the desk. But here we have another enforcer, let's kill him. There we go. I hope all of you are excited for the new January mini events that are coming along. I mean, obviously there's the ever returning Dark Moon Fair, but then we've also got the, what was it called, the Scarab's Call, I think. Um, so, there's that. I personally am looking forward to it and hoping that it's going to be good fun. If you can hear that vibrating, it, my phone is just going crazy at the moment. Someone not important, by that I mean number unknown is calling, so I'm not going to pick that up. But I do apologize if you could hear it. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to the Scarab's Call mini event there. Obviously as a reference to the 10 year anniversary of the first opening of Anki Raj. So I do hope that's going to be fun. It's going to be a little bit of open world PvP, which means I'm probably going to get slaughtered, but as why am I killing more enforcers? We've killed all of them already. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get slaughtered, but hey, at least I will have fun while do being slaughtered, I hope. And maybe we even get the bragging rights for the horde on this server. I mean, this server does have quite a bit of more horde than alliance. So hopefully you can see our pendant, or pendant flag, whatever, on the uh, wall, scarab wall there, next to or in front of Anki Raj. We need one more ogre mage. Not going to kill that one because I don't want to deal with the hyena. Not that the hyena would kill us, but just going to be messy. Away. There we go. I need a target. Why did you do your symbols of death? We didn't need that. Well. Technically it was me, but I'm going to blame Tafro now on this. Just like I bl blame Garrett for everything that goes wrong when he doesn't want to jump and grab onto ladders and whatnot. Alright, we've done the the ogres. Could go down here and do the hippogriffs. Yeah, let's do it somehow like this and then this. On the way there we could also turn these things in. Just to minimize any sort of overlap that we have in travel time and stuff like that we, we can try and be a little bit more efficient than is usually the case on this channel New Year's resolutions and whatnot all right let's hop on our noisy noisy uh, bike what do we need to get from these hippogriffs their music and yeah, we need to shrink and capture fallen hippogriffs so what we did with the wolves there before Sounds fair enough. And how far down is this? Okay, it's further down. Basically past all the old elven ruins that we visited in the... I think it was last episode, maybe the one before that. The iron foil there. Well, I didn't want to pull it, but apparently we did manage to pull it, so let's just keep on moving. It's not like the world is dangerous or anything, even without heirlooms. Going to be fun to see how it feels to play with vanilla balance mobs again. Not that the world was dangerous there, either, if you knew what you were doing. But at least you have to be on your toes a bit, and I remember I was crap at stealthing. Still probably am crap at stealthing, to be honest. Which led to me pulling lots of mobs in vain, and dying that way. Wolf? Yeah, okay, now the wolf is gone, so we can actually kill this hippogriff. I hope you count. Does it say what type of hippogriff? I don't have a talk. Um, let's see. Nope, this one definitely does count. Good. Let's pull you. And there we got the ding as well. Nice. 1137, we learned nothing. That is, I mean, I didn't mind the... The, I'm out of range. that you have to put in money to train skills and stuff in like previous iterations of WoW but uh, I did like that every level you did learn something so you had your, your talents at least so there was some form of progression whereas now you've got these like empty levels where like nothing happens that you just have to get through and even though the old talents, I will definitely admit, 
were sometimes completely useless in the form of you get 1% more critical strike chance. Let's remember to actually do this as well. Uh, if you put a talent point in here, it at least felt like you were progressing. And yes, I'm a sucker for Skinner, uh, Skinner boxes, what can I say? Just happens to be that way. Did we do it here? I think we did. We might not have. No, we didn't. Okay. Good. Let's keep our head on the quest requirements as well and not just reminiscing of the past. That would be one way to make sure that the questing here is more efficient as well. Alright, here we go. But yeah, I mean, to, to each their own. It's definitely uh, much more convenient not having to go to the capital cities anymore to train your skills. Even though I did like it for, you know, RP reasons. But I, I'm not sure what Blizzard could do in order to make sure that these dead levels, oh, no, green stuff, aren't as dead as they are now. But hey, maybe some of you like them or don't mind them at all. Put that down in the comments because I would be interested what people have to say about these uh, sort of empty levels when nothing happens except we get a bit higher stats and that's it. I need a target. Let's see, we need two more Hippogriffs. We have one over there, and hopefully when we move towards that um, spot, our vision will allow us to discover another Hippogriff, and indeed it does. How fortitious. Yes, and we are yelling and doing all sorts of noises as if killing that Hippogriff was super, super difficult. Tafrona once again being very dramatic. There we go. First. Killed you. Nice. And that quest is complete. Okay. Let's move down to the coast where we have to collect water element cores and miniaturization residue. Oh. Wrong key there. I do not have strafing after all anymore. So let's see. We need to zap Feral's Giants into a more manageable form. Alright. That I can deal with, I assume. So let's see, how are we going to get to the coast? These trends are neutral, that I am fine with. Oh, ah, okay. First I thought there was an alliance gap, but it's only a Blood Elf Rogue. Because remember, we are actually PvP flagged here. And even though this is not what appears to be my PvP death zone of Hinterlands, there might be some alliance around. Last time we were here, there were alliance around. They were the nice type of alliance, though they didn't kill us. They do appreciate that. But you never know. Oh, wait. Are these the Yetis we can kill? Let's see. Mark of quality. Ah, no. They are native to Rage Garhol, not Feral Scar Veil. Maybe it sends us to these Yetis afterwards. Probably. Knowing Blizzard, that is probably the case. But let's continue towards the coast and focus on our water elementals and giants. For the time being, at least. Alright. How am I going to get down? According to the map, it's just following this path, so let's do that. I wish our mount were faster, but that has three more levels to go. Doing this on YouTube, which obviously slows down my leveling speed quite a bit, has given me a new appreciation at least for the faster ground mount, because normally you just don't realize that, oh, I have a mount, then oh, now it's gotten faster, and you never remember the, the slow version of it. So there is range. that at least. So here we got the sea elementals. Let's kill you. Ah, I hope you could have critted or something. And apparently we destroyed that water elemental's core as we killed it. Because it didn't drop it to us. Alright, let's stab you. And now, eviscerate. No core. It's inert. Come on. I'm out of range. There was some flavor text to these, wasn't there? Well, I can't read it now because it's actually no longer in your inventory. Ah, shame. There we go. Alright, no, there was no flavor text. It just said water elemental core. 
Is this an alliance base? Yeah, I think Feathermoon Stronghold is actually an alliance base. So even though we have these water elementals here, maybe we shouldn't quest too close to it because even though there might not be any alliance players around here now, there might be alliance guards and those are overzealous. They will away. kill you inside after all. So let's try and avoid those if we can. Alright. Now, what's up with these drop rates for the sea elemental cores? I mean, what's our goblin doing? Smashing her dagger into it and shattering it into a thousand pieces? I mean, that's the only explanation I can think of why it isn't dropping. There we go. We're three out of ten. Uh, we need ten of these. Maybe I need to uh, cool off and zap some giants. Because with them, at least it seems to be the case that if I zap them, nice. That should give me the residue, I hope, with a 100% drop chance. Indeed it does. Awesome. Our health is low though, so let's... I'm out of range. Let's heal up. There we go. Okay, there's two sea giants over there. We can always pick them up on the way back or something. I can't attack that. I can't attack that target. I can't attack that. Oh, that's the dead one. I thought we had selected the one over here. Alright, you were right to complain, Hathrona. Sorry. Alright, let's zap you. So that you're no longer elite. And you're tiny. Well, compared to us, you're still tall. See, this drop rate I like much, much more. Alright. Uh, find another one to zap. Come on, what's the range in this? Zap. Zabity zap. It's zap, too zap. far away. No, it's not. Come on, you can do it. There Still you go. Charging. And eviscerate. Oh, there's a bunch of these guys here. Good. Can I zap you or are you too far away? You're quite far away. Depth perception. Always been my weakness in this game. Stuff just seems way, way closer when you're swimming above them. Alright, we've got four out of six. Yeah, we we will be able to, to do this quest in this um, I'm out of range. What would this be? I don't Shoreline have bit. Come on, let's loot you too. What do you have for me? Ah, just some silk cloth. Okay. Let's go back here so that we can actually do this a tad bit quicker by being actually able to run and not just swim. And I don't think we have the glyph uh, that allows us to sprint on top of it's water. Too far away. Shame. Come on. Hit it. There we go. Alright, one quest done. And let's progress a bit more on the water elemental cold one as well. It's too far away. Although I doubt we will finish it because we have like one more minute on the timer. And with this drop rate, even if I could hurt five sea spray guys to me and kill them within the minute. I doubt they all drop what I need of them. But hey, let's at least do three at a time and then see what happens. Oh yeah, you guys are ranged. I don't like that at all. Let's heal as well because, oh dear. Let's pull some cooldowns here because I don't want to die. There we go, we didn't die. And out of three guys, only one call was dropped. There you go. Drop rates for you. And we are at 38% health, 39. Will we get like 40 when we take you? You dropped one at least. Good. So probably we will be finishing this in the next episode. And then moving on to kill the yetis. I don't have a target. Ah, so now when I'm saying that I will finish this quest in the next episode, you start dropping the water elemental cores. Is that the big secret on how it's done? Come on, kill you, kill you. Don't die, don't die. Oh, come on. Oof. Okay, this was a bit, bit too close for comfort. We almost died there. But yeah, we've got about 10 more seconds left, so this is probably where I will cut it. And it will also allow us to heal and do other 
nice stuff while we're at it. So, as always, my name's been Sneaky Bart. Thank you for watching. You've been absolutely awesome. I do hope you did enjoy the episode. If you did, then do give me a like and a subscribe. Uh, if you didn't, then put it down in a comment so I do know what to do better next time. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, bye-bye.